Hi, my name is Will Gadd. I'm an adventure athlete and storyteller from Canmore, Alberta. But today I'm going out to Toronto's Centre Island and I'm going to talk about ISO. It's basically only three things that you can control easily in your camera. You've got your shutter speed, your aperture, and your ISO. ISO is basically sensitivity in your camera. I'm not talking about its emotional well-being here. This is how much light is absorbed when it hits that sensor. When I go out to the island, it's gonna be broad daylight, and I'll have to use a low ISO to get the images that I want. If you're shooting with a low ISO number, like 100 or 200, generally you're out in bright conditions, but going back in the evening, it's gonna be that beautiful evening light, and a high ISO allows you to shoot in low light. I'll have to crank the ISO up a little bit, probably 400, 800, somewhere in there, to get the images that I want. The best light is often first thing in the morning and last thing in the evening. But if you crank up your ISO, you can keep shooting as the light starts to really drop off, even until it's almost dark. The great thing about shooting with a DSLR is you can really shoot in a wide range of conditions and get great shots. 